Good evening, sports fans! Welcome to Sports Fan Up here on this New Year's Eve night of 2014, Wednesday, December 31st, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Pete Wiggins. Let's start you off at T Garden, where the Boston Moon squared off against their division rival, the Tr Toronto Maple Leafs. Bruins fresh off a 5-2 victory on Monday night against the Detroit Red Wings, squared off against the Toronto Maple Leafs, and in 10-22 to the first period. Leo Kamara gets a wrist shot goal, fifth goal of the season, with a system Peter Holland makes a one net up in favor of the Maple Leafs with one period. And then, second period, 17 seconds into the second period, Carl Server got a power play goal, eighth goal of the season with a system from Riley Smith, 11 assists, and Doug Hamilton, 15 assists. A backhand shot ties it a 1 1 piece. But then, 48 seconds later, Ed, James Ben reads up, responds with a goal, with a wrist shot goal, with assists from Phil Kessel. It's 2 1 in favor of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And then, 9 45, Phil Kessel, power play goal, with assists from Dion Phillip and Cody Fenton. It's 3 1 in favor of the Toronto Maple Leafs. But then, the Bruins woke up as David Krejci cuts the lead to 3 2 with a wrist shot goal at 15 20 of the second period. Fifth, Goal of the season with assists by Milan Lucic, 12 assists, and Seth Griffith, 3rd assist. 3 2 in favor of the Maple Leafs, and then at 17 31, Troy Krug, a wrist shot goal, ties it at 3 3 piece. 7th goal of the season with assists from Laurel Erickson, 15th assist, and Carl Stoberg, 20th assist, and the game is tied at 3 3 piece. And then the third period, great, great hockey playing by both clubs, and it occurred in the overtime period and in the shootout. The Toronto May please one issue at two to one as the Boston Bruins came up with a good effort, but came up on the wrong end of a four three loss to the Toronto May please in a shootout at the TD Garden as the Boston Bruins now fall to 19, 15, 19 15 and four in the season, but they got a point while Toronto gets two here. Two Carrasco at eighteen saves while Jonathan Bernier at twenty five saves in the net for the May Leafs. Next up for the Boston Moons, they will be at the TD Garden for a Saturday afternoon matinee against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Alright, let's take a look at NHL scores here around the league. 1957 left in the third. San Jose Sharks lead the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. One and up in. San Jose Sharks lead the Anaheim Ducks 1-0 with 1957 left in the third period here. 1841 left in the third. Dallas Stars lead the Arizona Coyotes 2-0. Through one period, Philadelphia Flyers lead the Cowboy Avalanche 1-0 through one period. 907 left in the first period in the Battle of Alberta. It's Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Norths. No score. Other games in the final, New York Islanders 3 though. Winnipeg Jets 5-2. Tampa Bay Lightning beat the Buffalo Sabres 5-1. New York Rangers over the Florida Panthers 5-2. Pittsburgh Penguins over the Carolina Hurricanes 2-1. Columbus Blue Jacks over the Minnesota Wild 3-1. And Detroit Red Wings over the New Jersey Devils 3-1. Alright, let's take a look at NBA scores here on this Wednesday night. Boston Celtics easily defeated the Sacramento Kings 106-84 behind Jared Sellinger's 20 points. Other scores in the NBA, it was Indiana Pacers over the Miami Heat 106-95. Los Angeles Clippers over the New York Knickerbockers 99-78. Houston Rockets over the Charlotte Hornets 102-83 behind James Harden's 36 points and 6 assists. Milwaukee Bucks over the Cleveland Cavaliers 96-80. Overtime, Senator Spurs over the North Pelicans 95-93, and with 34 seconds left in the third quarter, Oakland City Thunder lead the Phoenix Suns 97-94. Okay, take a look at college basketball scores here. First of all, in the men's. At halftime, Boise State 38-3, Colorado State 28, Utah State 35, Senator State 12. Wyoming trailing UNLV 37-33 at halftime. Cedar Hall 78, St. John 67, Tulane 67, East Carolina 59, Tulsa 56, UCF 54, Fordham 74, South Carolina State 54. It's 
Wisconsin 8 on. Penn State 72. Temple 57. Connecticut 53 and a final in overtime. It's Wake Forest 80. Princeton 66. Youngstown State 78. North Kentucky 74. Tennessee 71. East Tennessee State 61. Went for Bay 2. Longwood 72 final in overtime. Green Bay 54. Chicago State 50. Dartmouth 76. Bryant 59. Loyola Illinois 64. Beverly 49. Memphis 73. Houston 54. Colgate 68. Lehigh 61. UNC Greensboro 92. Marzell 48. Campbell 53. Liberty 46. Vanderbilt 70. St. Louis 55. Boston College 75. Clay Cross 72 in overtime. Villanova 67. Butler 55. Bucknell 57. American University 47. Duke A4. Warford 55. Lafayette 92. Army 78. Austin Page 65. Norfolk Florida 60. Tennessee State 73. Kennesaw State 62. Purdue 72. Minnesota 68. Georgia 50. Kansas State 46. Indiana State 63. Illinois State 61. Navy 70. Loyal Maryland 47. Rhode Island 80. Brown 60. Northeastern 58. Richmond 57. Hustler 84. Central Connecticut State 56. Northwestern College. Northwestern State 94. Louisiana College 68. Oklahoma 61. George Mason 43. SMU 83. South Florida 49. It's DePaul 61. Market 58. Cal State University of Bakersfield 87. Laverne 36. San Diego State 53. Air Force 49. UC Irvine 82, Hamden 53, Indiana 70, Nebraska 65, Syracuse 61, Cornell 44, Garden Web 81, Presbyterian 64, Wichita State 66, Drake 58, Missouri State 53, Southern Illinois 50, Iowa State 83, Mississippi Valley State 33, Coastal Carolina 83, High Point 68, New Mexico 76, Fresno State 64, and it's Providence 65, Creighton 53. Alright, let's take a look at Women's college basketball scores here. American University 60, Bucknell 55, White State 118, Central State Ohio 70, Stetson 72, UNC Wilmington 55, Dayton 98, Central Michigan 89, George Washington 82, 2048, Boston College 66, Northeastern 56. Pennsylvania 85, Kings Pennsylvania 20, Boise State 75, Carver State 65, Lafayette 71, Army 60, Colt Gate, Lutheran Lehigh 86 to 68, Loyola Maryland 55, Navy 49, Holy Cross 71, Boston University 48, Elon 62, Lidor Ryan 46, San Jose State 74, Air Force 65, Connecticut 89, East Carolina 38, South Florida 72, Memphis 39, Tulsa 74, Cincinnati 52, Grant 57, New Hampshire 54. It's Wake Forest 77, Wake during Carolina 59. It's Cal State Fulton 72, UMKC 52. Texas A&M 75, North Texas 38. Fresno State 71, New Mexico 65. UNLV 58, Wyoming 55. Hawaii 76, Hawaii Pacific 68. It's San Stephen F. Austin 73, Arkansas 50, and Indiana 70, Michigan State 51. Okay, College Bowl scoreboard here in the Orange Bowl. At halftime, Georgia Tech leading Mississippi State 21 20. In the Peach Bowl, TCU rolled over Ole Miss 42 3. And in the Fiesta Bowl, it's Boise State defeating Arizona 38 30. All right. Take a look at some sports news here on this. New Year's Eve night in Columbus, Ohio. Joe Burrow had never met Urban Meyer. They had only had a handful of casual conversations. Before Meyer, Ohio State's football coach called it off for Burrow a scholarship last spring. Doug Burrell opted out of his contract as coach of the Buffalo Bills on Wednesdays, and he has strong interest from the Jets, a person familiar with the team sinking said. In Cleveland, LeBron James ended the year with a night off for a sore left knee and an absurd that he has no plans to run away from the Cavaliers. With the uniqueness of Winter Classic is wound in, this built still a special experience in Washington as a hockey rink situated in the middle of a baseball stadium remains a real sight to this day. 
Uh, since I have read some crowd, uh, Field of Marin, Mullen Bird, and Kesh from the Field of Phillies on Wednesday for a minor league pitcher filling the biggest hole in Atlanta. The Detroit Lions return to the playoffs as a 16. Travel to Texas this Sunday to take on the Dallas Cowboys. Naturally, opinions from around are cropping up already on this wildcard weekend matchup. In Los Angeles, after long summer days on the family farm in Clarksburg, West Virginia, Jimbo Fisher would have headed to the small, field free football field at Salem College, joining his teammates for workouts supervised by head coach Terry Biden and the Tigers. In Pittsburgh, Ben Roethlisberger is back carrying the Pittsburgh Seals, the way the two time Super Bowl winning quarterback so often did so before. LeVon Bell arrived to ease his load as 2013 second round draft selection. The Arizona Coyotes have a new majority owner after a fit of a hedge fund. Manager Andrew Barry received approval to buy a 51% stake in the National Hockey League franchise. And Toronto Maple Leafs white winger Jeffrey Leppel left Wednesday night's game against the Boston Bruins with a lower back body injury. And that's going to be the sports man up the night report in this. The 7th 31st, 2014 on Wednesday on a New Year's Eve night. Here is going to have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. And hope you have a safe and happy New Year's Eve. Good night and happy new year!